China is known for a lot of things, but tropical paradise isn't usually one of them. That's something Hainan's authorities want to change. They think they can turn this island province at the southernmost tip of China into Asia's very own Hawaii. The city of Sanya is at the heart of that effort. The former fishing village is already home to more than 20 international hotels, while dozens more are being built. It's played host to golf competitions and even the Miss World contest to raise its profile. Russian, Korean and Chinese tourists have bought into the dream. They flock here in their thousands every year. Now, the push is on to entice over sun worshippers from Europe and the US. Hainan's got the beaches, it's got the palm trees and it's certainly got the weather. But is that going to be enough to turn this island into a major tourist hotspot? Sanya's head of tourism certainly thinks so. She points to a rise in tourist numbers from Europe and the US, up 20 to 30 percent a year. When Sanya was still a small village 23 years ago, we decided to set up the goal to promote our small town as an international tourist spot. In order to do that, we are increasing our expansion on the international market to include people from Europe and the U.S. And she says Sanya's appeal lies in its combination of Chinese culture and, rare in China, clean air and clear seas. But cleanliness, it seems, comes at a price. The cost of staying and eating in Sanya is higher than in many other parts of China. Uh, I think it's a little expensive. Oh, yes. I think it's, it's the most expensive. But it didn't deter this visitor from Russia. So it's cheaper than in a place like Turkey, I think, uh, like Thailand, and like European countries too. Beyond the beaches of Sanya, Hainan has other, more unusual attractions. The island is home to one of China's space launch sites, as well as a nuclear submarine base. In 10 years, North Americans will know about Sanya, and will have experienced this island. That's our dream. Only time will tell if Hainan can really turn into the next Hawaii, or instead become a paradise lost. Tom McKenzie, 